eternity. We're reading from verse 1 through to verse 8. That's 1 Samuel 30. Reading from verse 1 to verse 8. And if you know anything about me, I like to go down in detail. Some say I teach. Some say I will go down into it and dissect it. Because I believe that when you leave here tonight, you must leave with an understanding of the word of God. It mustn't baffle you when you reach home. You mustn't think about it too hard. You try to understand it when you reach home. Because it is already dissected. It's already taken apart to go down into your spirit. I'm going to ask everybody to stand for the reading of God's holy word. For it is a custom in this house. Have we found it? And it reads, And it came to pass, when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Amicalite, Amicalites had invaded the south, and Ziklag, and smitten Ziklag, and burned it to burn it with fire. And had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any. Let me read that again. They slew not any. Either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people were with him, lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive. Ahimon the Jezreelites and Abigail the wife of Abal the Carmelite and David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved every man from his sons and for his daughters but David encouraged himself in the Lord his God and David said to Abathar the priest, Amalek, Amalek, Lee, Saul, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abathar brought hither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he said, and he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and will without fail recover all in our Somebody never forget that. Let me read verse 8 once more. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them and he answered him pursue and thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover it's all <laughs> in God's good this is the word of the Lord we honor it by saying thanks be to God somebody don't understand what Samuel first Samuel verse 30 just said Verse 8, chapter 30, verse 8 just said, somebody don't understand it. Because guess what happened? When David and the troops came back, they saw that everything was gone. Ziklag was burnt to the ground. Their family was taken. But there's one thing that amazed me, that most times when the enemy comes, he comes and he kills, and he leaves nothing. But for some when they took over the people in Ziklag, they did not kill them, neither great nor small. They took them and they captured them. I don't know about you, but when I heard that, I heard hope. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. There's hope. When I heard that, I heard hope. Because the enemy did not kill. The enemy only took it and captured it for you to think that it's gone. But there's something else that happened though in the chapter. David 
they understand when crying, you feel like you can't cry no more. Your chest face start to burn you. There's no more tears coming. There's nothing else coming. All the crying, there's nothing coming. You feel like you can't stand up when you're done. And the Bible said, now when you finish crying, oh Lord, I want you to wait for it. I want you to wait for it. Because there's a time in our life that when the enemy takes my Yeah. 
they spoke of stoning the servant of God. Now, you see, Talk to me now. David, it is written in the word of God where the Lord said that David is a man of his own heart. Yes. And I spoke of stoning. My God. So who do you think you are? Glory. If I should proud, who do you think you are? Jesus. Come on now. I heard the pastor tell you today, set your fears like a friend. Jesus. You see, y'all don't understand. When the Lord three weeks, now the Lord has been saying, He said, I'm going to go. He says, Meet me on the other side. And now he's saying it tonight. When you meet him on the other side, you go recover. 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 It's on. Never says Y'all don't read the word. The enemy 
John says, I need to go set you up your eyes. So where is my God? Where is my God? Where is my God? The enemy will want to challenge you. He knows your God. Those are the food. He knows your God. But he wants to know that you know your God. How many of us tonight know our God? That when he says go, we know that it is power. Coming behind us. The Lord is about to say, Some things. 
take our health by out of the enemy's character tonight. We will take our finances out of the enemy's character tonight. We will take our forefathers, our children's children. Before it happens, who knows that you can speak prophetically into the future. Before it takes place, you can go forth into the future and say, I declare that it shall not come now unto my children's children. Take back some things from the enemy tonight. Take back some things from the enemy tonight. Take it back. Claim it back. Claim back your praise. Because some of your